Welcome to Perfect Blackboard discussion on perfect competition number seven. Again, we're going to be looking at the dynamics of this particular model, perfect competition, only this time instead of shifting demand and supply over here, we're going to look at what happens when costs change. Let's say the wage rate goes up or some kind of expense in your variable um, inputs goes up. We'll call it maybe increased spending on, oh, health care or pensions. Well, your costs are going to go up, and so too with your costs will your average total costs go up like this, and you end up with these new curves. So you have MC2 there and average total cost 2 over here. So you have to kind of get rid of these curves. Now, instead of producing this much out here, this company is going to say, where's my new marginal cost equal my marginal revenue right here? And what does that mean? They come down here and they produce this amount, we'll say 15 units. How much does that cost to produce? Up here. And the cost is high, the revenue is low, and you end up with a loss. And what happens when you end up with this loss? Well, over here in the market something happens, doesn't it? People get out of the business. They're not interested in having losses. They're not interested in losing money. Their assets are more valuable somewhere else, perhaps. And the supply curve will shift up to the left like this. Now, I've shifted the supply curve to the left in a particular way. Companies are coming out of this market. So you have all these companies here, B, C, D, E. And with this loss, a few of them get out of the market. So the supply curve shifts to the left. And look what's happened. The price has gone up. We'll say that's, oh, I don't know, $5.80. And at $5.80, you'll see that what happens is this line shifts just to this point here, right there. It's at that point where we come back, where marginal revenue equals marginal cost again, and we get zero economic profits. That is key, that always, always in the long run, you end up at zero economic profits. In this case, where are those zero economic profits? They're up here somewhere. So the price has definitely gone up, just as we expect. But output has gone down, and that's because there are fewer companies in this market. So we have costs going up, and then we have companies dropping out, supply shifts to the left, and we end up back at zero economic profits. OK, let's move forward now and see what happens when costs go down. In this case, let's say this is another company here, then this is how all these companies have been running in this particular manner. So we'll put all these companies, B, C, D, E, and so on, and so on, and so on. And these are all their quantities down here and all their prices up here. And these are all these companies. Now this particular company's here, something happens. Let's say they have a new technology, something lowers their costs. Their variable costs go down, their marginal costs go down, and this shifts to the right like this. So we get MC2 there. And not only that, average total cost is going to go down. So we're going to come over here, and average total cost is going to look something like this, ATC2. Now what do you do? Marginal revenue equals this new marginal cost line, and look what happens. This company has revenues greater than costs now, and through their innovation, they get profits. That's key. Now they've got profits. All these other companies are looking at this particular situation. They're all making zero economic profits, and this company's making lots of profits. What's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. These guys are going to wake up and say, we'd better do something. We'd better capture those profits somehow. What are they going to do? Perhaps they're going to try to enter the market with this new technology. And when they do this, this new technology means what? Look what's happening. Output's going up. Output's going up. Maybe new companies you're attracted into this marketplace. Supply shifts to the right. We have price coming down. Old companies that can't meet this price, old companies that can't use this technology, they drop out. What happens? New companies that have the lower cost structure come in. We get new suppliers. We get new suppliers with this new technology. Supply keeps shifting to the left as profits attract these people into this thing. Remember, perfect exit, perfect entry, 
So in this model, the perfect entry comes in, we get the prices coming down, we get back to zero economic profits, and we end up once again at that particular place, zero economic profits with a lower price structure, a lower cost structure. Those people who can't do this lower cost get out. Those people who can get in. Ultimately, the profits attract new suppliers and voila, that innovation in this pure competition model with easy entry and exit drives us down to zero economic profit, drives the price down, and quantity goes up. Now, that's a place I'd like to live. Anyway, it's a kind of utopia. Come back again. Perfect competition number eight is going to talk about one of the most important parts to this whole model, efficiency. See you then.